now I'm going to show you how to make a report using the report wizard. So again, I'm going to select uh, a query that has my results in it, and I'm going to go click on create at the top of the screen, and I'm actually going to choose report wizard. So it's more step by step. So here, I actually didn't have to select the email list. And it tells me it's going to use a query called email list, although I could also create a report off of any of my tables or any of my other queries. It allows me to choose from the fields, but I already selected these fields specifically when I created the query, and I can simply move them one at a time into the field by clicking the single arrow or move them all into the selected fields area by uh, clicking the double arrows. So you can choose from more than one table or query. So I'm happy the way this is. Just click next. Now it asks me, do I want to add any grouping levels? Well, I can group them by first name or by last name or by email address, but my report doesn't require any grouping. But it is very useful if you had, let's say, you know, unit sales from a particular province, then you could group all the provinces together. So it would become a heading. So if I, let's say, last name, like just a weird coincidence, I have to fix that. Um, you know, this would list all the people by their last name. But I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to leave it there. And there was also other grouping options, because as soon as you group something, you can group options and have uh, other intervals. And if they were numeric values, you can actually add them up or group them or total them, which is kind of nice too. And I'm removing that grouping. So now, just on, so I don't need any grouping, I can click next or I can hit finish. I can sort any of the fields. Oh yeah, I'm going to sort by last name and I hit next. And I have three options for layouts, columnar, so it'll be in columns, tabular, which is usually all right, or a justified report. I'll just stick with tabular. And I could go portrait or landscape and adjust the field width so they fit on the page. And then I hit finish, or sorry, next. And then what do I want to title my report? And this is a uh, better report. I don't know. Just did another name. And I can either modify the report's design or preview the report. So I'll just hit finish. And now I'm previewing the report, sorted by last name, and I've got my first name and my email address. The only thing about this report, doesn't have the totals at the bottom, and it doesn't have the date and time that it was last created. But it's a nice, simple report. So I can hit close. So now that I've hit close, this is actually the design of that report. And there's a page footer, which says now, so that's the time. And if I needed to, I could add uh, equals count, and it would count the numbers. Maybe I'll just run that one again. Oh, so now there's the actual date when the report was run, which is good, too. So I could print it, and then I'd have this printed copy with the date on it. So that's it. Feel free to examine that, play with it, and really, I've got to turn that off, and uh, explain your, or, or try out the different types of formatting. So even if I, you know, I'm just going to go and do that whole thing again. Uh, do, oops. What? Oh, cancel. Close this report. I'm going to create a new report wizard. Select all my fields. Go there, go there, go there. And instead of tabular, I'm going to go to columnar. And I'll try that. So there everybody's listed in uh, individual sections. So just a different way of looking at the data. It's more like a phone book that way. All right, that's great. Have a, have a nice time with those videos.